This is a one-dimensional line. In this dimension, only one value is needed to describe the position of an object. Get a couple of these one-dimensional lines and you have yourself a two-dimensional plane. Here, you'll need two values to describe an object's position. Connect these 2D planes and you'll have yourself a three-dimensional cube. This is the current dimension we find ourselves living in. So if we go by logic, to find a four-dimensional shape, we'll have to use three-dimensional cubes, right? Well, if you do this, you'll get something called a tesseract. But there are limitations because we're visualizing a 4D object with a 3D model that we're seeing on a 2D screen. Every time there's an increase in dimension, there's also an additional direction added. For the first dimension, you have the x-axis. For the second dimension, you have the y-axis. And for the third dimension, you have the z-axis. So for the fourth dimension, you'll also need an additional direction, which is perpendicular to every other direction that's been introduced. But you can see from this graph that there's not really a line that meets these conditions. So for us beings in a three-dimensional world, it's actually impossible for us to comprehend how a four-dimensional world will look like. If a four-dimensional object were to still only appear in our world, it would look like it's shape-shifting. This could most easily be understood by looking at this two-dimensional analogy. Beings in a two-dimensional plane can only see in a single line, so if we were to move a three-dimensional object through their 2D plane, they would just see a weird object that's shape is constantly changing. So hypothetically, if a 4D object were to appear in our world, it would also look as if its shape is constantly changing. A four-dimensional being viewing our three-dimensional world will most likely have the ability to see through any wall. To help you understand, let's take a look at this two-dimensional image. The two-dimensional being can't see the object because of the wall in between, but we can because we're viewing the image from a three-dimensional perspective. Other than that, we are also able to determine the depth of the wall. So hypothetically, a four-dimensional being will have the ability to see beyond walls, whilst also being able to determine its depth. Einstein's general relativity states that time is the fourth dimension. This means that beings in the fourth dimension could possibly control time at their will. However, there are some problems that arise when we consider time as a fourth dimension. One of them is the grandfather paradox. Grandfather paradox is where you go into the past and kill your grandfather. And if your grandfather never existed, that means your father was never born. And if your father wasn't born, that means you were never born, which also means that your grandfather was never killed. This shows the contradictions that come along with time travel, suggesting that time might not be the fourth dimension.